So I'm just getting back uh, from the ocean uh, with a bit of drone footage uh, that I think is very, very cool. And uh, it almost didn't happen. Um, I had uh, just finished filming and I was landing my drone and I was following this beautiful breaking wave uh, just perfectly, just kind of following it at exactly the right speed as it was uh, exactly the same speed as it was breaking and I was just thinking, oh, that's such a beautiful shot as I'm coming in from from my uh, drone fil filming out a little bit deeper where I was actually filming uh, a school of manta rays. There were uh, actually a lot more of them out there than I was expecting. Um, but anyway, uh, some of the coolest drone footage that I've ever taken, and it almost didn't happen. Zoning out and kind of in a trance and, you know, I'm just feeling cocky and comfortable with my drone piloting skills, and I'm like, I'm just gonna like follow this wave in and, and like cruise into where my dune buggy was parked and land it perfectly and just put the coup de gras on, on the whole, whole little filming sequence. Um, I miscalculated the, I miscalculated the, the distance of my drone, uh, and I ended up lo like crashing it, um, a little mm, hill behind where the, the shoreline comes up, like a 50 foot hill. And there were a couple hills, you know, there was a, a hill and then there was like a, a uh, uh, a dry riverbed that went between and then there was another hill and my drone crashed somewhere back there um, somewhere amongst the like really dense landscape of the uh, Mexican desert and uh, Baja desert and I can actually show you a little bit <coughs> what that looks like if you just look behind me you know, everything back there, that kind of thick, pokey, um, like cactus filled, even the plants that are, that are not cactuses, they, they have all sorts of spikes and everything. There's like nothing out there that doesn't poke and prickle and like sting or some sort of like minor little toxin or whatever they have. So anyway, I crashed my drone with this amazing manta ray footage um, somewhere back there. So, of course, you know, I had to go look for it. Uh, number one, I, you know, I want my drone back. And number two, that was really great footage and I did not want to <laughs> lose it. <clears throat> I almost wanted the footage actually more than I wanted the drone because it was just that cool. So, I, you know, I had actually just cruised down to the beach in my, in my little dune buggy and I didn't, I didn't actually even put on pants. I was there in my boxer shorts and I didn't have any shoes or anything like that. And I'm thinking, oh shit, now I've got to go trudging through the cactus brush old and hike up this, you know, 50 foot, uh, sand. it was steep, like this 50 foot, you know, steep sand dune and try to find where my drone landed. But I, I can't really remember where that was. I was like, how close was I? What was the last image I remember seeing? And I was like, I think it was, you know, I could see, I could make out myself in the video. I was, I was just small on the screen. I was like, I think I was pretty close, but I don't remember how close. So I was like, I, I couldn't remember if I was, you know, a uh, uh, yeah, hundred feet away or, or you know, five hundred feet away. I, I couldn't remember. So I was like, well, it's got to be in that mountain up there, or it's got to be in that mountain up there. And it was about, you know, five o'clock in the evening. And the sun sets around, you know, seven. Yeah, you know, it might have been five thirty. Um, and the sun, you know, sets around around seven. And you know, I start, you know, looking around. Actually, in my dune buggy first, I was like, well, I, do I have a pair of shoes in here? And I was like, oh, I, I found one shoe. One shoe isn't going to do me much good. So I tossed it back, and I was like, oh, I'm sure it's just right up the hill. I'll just walk carefully in the sand, and I'll not step on any any cactuses, there's absolutely no chance of that happening. Every step is just like something pokey. Those little little balls of spikes or uh, there's just so many different things that, that have spikes on them in, in the desert. Um, 
And of course there's, you know, the bark scorpions. I was like, well, shit, there probably won't be any bark scorpions out right now because it's still daytime, but I better not step in any like wood, wooded piles of bark or anything like that. I was like, all right, well, don't step on the scorpions and watch out for rattlesnakes and, um, and uh, try not to step on any cactuses. Okay, so I was walking like, ow, 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 ow. Every step is like, ow, and picking things out of my feet. And I look around, of course, I get to the top, and I was like, well, I don't see it up here. And so, you know, I looked around for five minutes or so, and I was like, well, I don't see it on this hill. And I covered a pretty good area. You know, I probably covered a hundred feet in a circle, and uh, maybe further, actually, maybe a couple hundred feet. And then I was like, well, there's another hill down the, you know, the gully, and then up another 50-foot bank, and I was like, well, maybe it's up there. So I hiked up there, and I looked around. I probably looked around up there for 10 or 15 minutes. I could not find it anywhere. I could not find my drone anywhere. Uh, so, <clears throat> of course, all the whole time I'm walking like, ow, 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 ow. Every step is painful and, and brutal, and so I'm, I'm really baffled, you know. I've been, like, searching for 20 minutes now. It's like I thought I was just going to walk up the hill and and see it right away, but I didn't. And so at that point I'm thinking, well, how can I find this thing? I can't see it anywhere. I've been looking, you know, I've stood up on some pretty high vantages and I've kind of looked everywhere. I can't see it anywhere. And so I went back down to the to the the, the dune buggy and I was like, well, I wonder if I can look at the last position on my monitor display and see like triangulate kind of where the last position was before the battery died and maybe there's like still a screen showing of the map there and there was there was like a map and it showed my drone roughly like 50 or 60 meters <clears throat> in that direction and so I was like okay well if I'm here I'm gonna have to like go roughly that that much and it could be about you know 50 strides in that way and I was like okay well maybe you know that gives me something to work with and so I started heading in that direction. I was like, oh, you know, by the time I get to 50 meters, I'm just going to be at the bottom of the first cliff bang, and there's no way it's there. So I was like, all right, well, shit, I better start over. So I went back to the first bank, and I hiked up it again. And I looked around it probably for 20 minutes this time. I was like, I widened my perimeter by double or triple. I was like, okay, well, couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, well... I, I don't know where it could be. Maybe it's over over on the other bank. <clears throat> and so I well, went down and then went back up again. And of course, you know, I'm getting prickled like uh, uh, like like no tomorrow the whole time. And uh, spend some time searching around the uh, second hill bank again. Probably spent another you know, half an hour, actually, probably searching this one. I went back, I went front, I was, like, shimmying through all of these, um, you know, brambles and thorns, and some of them up to here, and some of them have, like, big spikes like that. And it's like, you really got to watch out. You got to carefully move them back, and you got to kind of shimmy through. And I got scratched up like crazy. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go even further. I went even further, and I was like, couldn't find it there. And it's probably been an hour and a half of searching now. I was like, well, sh I don't know. I was like, okay, I'm going to walk back this way. I actually started like thinking, all right, all divine, great, mighty, creator of being and everything, can you maybe help me with some divine guidance here or something? Because, you know, it's like an hour and a half later. <clears throat> the uh, sun is starting to go down. It's actually, you know, I see just the last uh, um, phase when before it disappears behind the mountains. And I was thinking, all right, well, I've got to find it. It's got to be right around here. I'm standing in roughly the right trajectory according to my last map position of where it would be. And I was like, it's got to be right here. So I walked around a corner and I w looked under some bushes and I walked up a little bit higher and I looked, you know, around. Uh, and right there in front of me was a big, thick snake like this huge snake and it was it had diamonds all over its back it was um, brown and dark brown and light brown diamond shaped I'm thinking oh shit <laughs> um, I don't know what kind of snake that is it may just be a big gopher snake and I was probably 15 or 20 feet away from it so I wasn't too concerned you know I was thinking it's it's half in a bush 
and I see its head coming out of the bush and I'm thinking, oh shit. I've been walking right beside these bushes for like an hour and a half and now I'm seeing this huge snake, like just probably the biggest snake I've ever seen. Just like thick, you know? And I'm thinking, oh shit, you know, like, <laughs> uh, you know, the, the sun's going down and that's when snakes like to come out to hunt and that's when the scorpions like to come out to hunt and I'm thinking, for safety's sake, I think I have to call off this hunt, you know, this search for my drone now because there are rattlesnakes out here, and I don't want to run into one. I was like, I don't know what kind that is. Like, and I was thinking, you know, I was told that the rattlesnakes were little out here. They're like little guys, right? And I was thinking, so it's probably not a rattlesnake. And so I, but anyway, I started walking away. Away, you know, it had the diamond-shaped pattern. And I was like, that that sure looks suspicious. So I started walking away, and I, as I walked about ten feet away, I looked behind me a couple times, and then I noticed it start to move very slowly just like like that and I was like well there it goes it's crawling out of the bush I can see it pretty clear and I have to know I have to know what's on its tail so I watch it slowly slowly slither and then I see a black stripe and a white stripe and a black stripe and a white stripe and I see this big rattle Oh, I'm, I'm like, oh shit, that is a huge rattlesnake. And so <laughs> at that point, I, I picked up my pace. I'm like, all right, I'm down this sign bank. I'm out of here. I'm going back to the to the dune buggy. I'm driving home. I'm going to make some dinner. I'm starving. It is not worth getting bit by one of these uh, rattlesnakes out here in the middle of the desert to find my drone, no matter how cool the dr drone footage is. And it was cool. Like, it's so cool. <clears throat> I was uh, heading back to my, my dune buggy, and I was working it through in my mind. I was like, well, I guess I can get another drone and get it shipped here in a few weeks, and maybe next year the manta rays will be passing through again. And I was like, all right, I'll cut my losses. It, you know, it would be the second drone I've lost out here in the wild. The first one I lost in the ocean spray. Just like big spray came up, fried all the circuits. Like, all right, well, shit. It's cutting my losses, and I'm, I just kind of needed to climb up that hill nearby where my dune buggy was. I was like, I saw the snake back there. I can climb up that hill. I see sand there, sand there, a little bush there. I don't see anywhere where a rattlesnake could be hiding. I was like, I just have to climb up that one more time. And I had already spent probably half an hour searching this hill, just like carefully staring and looking. And so I climbed up it thinking, I'm never going to find it. I just have to do it because I have to do it because I can't let go. I want that footage. I want my drone back. <laughs> And so I climbed up the hill, and I looked around, I didn't see it. And I was like, all right, I'm just going go around this other section, look around here, I can't see it. It's like, well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's gone, I've looked, it's, I've given it my best effort, I've avoided being bitten by any rattlesnakes, that's it, it's done. And I started walking down the hill, and I said, actually I said out loud, I said, that's it, my drone is gone. And not more than two seconds after I said that, for no particular reason, because I had given up in my mind, like I had given up the search, for no reason, I turned my head like this, like that, like that much, almost nine, uh, yeah, almost ninety degrees. I just like, whoosh. and I wasn't looking as I turned it. I wasn't looking for my drone like one last time. I just turned it like that, and where my head stopped, right where my head stopped, was my drone. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> so I think it was a little bit of divine inspiration um, and, and definitely a lot of luck. And I, you know, I hadn't looked in that direction before because when I remember landing the drone, it was much further in the other direction, but it had actually been in the di uh, opposite direction of where I'd been searching. And that's why I guess I hadn't found it until I decided to walk back down the hill and just like whoosh, there it is so anyway that is the story about how this drone footage came to be and uh, I think you're gonna I think it's I think it's really cool and I uh, hope you enjoy it